Okay, what's going on guys? Uh, I wanted to go over real quickly some finesse micro jigs that uh, I've had a lot of uh, success with in the last several years. Uh, be a little short video, bear with me as I get my lighting and my sound dialed in. Uh, these videos will become better as uh, we move forward. Okay, let's start off with uh, the Kasumi Design non-stack jig. This is the one I reach for first, uh, nine times out of 10. Uh, there are uh, circumstances where I'll, I'll look for a different head design, but this would be the first one I go for in the colder water months. Uh, these jigs uh, are extremely unique in their head design. You check that out, guys. I tell you, uh, uh, they really done well with this jig. Uh, this is a seven gram model. They come from 3.5 up to seven grams. Um, they have the traditional weed guard design. Uh, this head design allows you to, when you put tension on your line, it'll stand that jig straight up, as you can see, and it will uh, allow whatever trailer you choose to, uh, to stand up with it. Uh, they come in from 3.5 to seven grams. Uh, just all around awesome jig from the hook to the weed guard to the head design to the skirt uh, this is what I would call a 10 out of 10 this is uh, the best of the best right here I have not found another jig JDM or domestic that uh, rivals this jig right here this is the absolute best that you can get a lot of these jigs are difficult to find um, but they still can be found. Um, of course, eBay is a good, you know, a, a good starting point to find a lot of these uh, baits that I'm gonna be going over with you guys. Uh, this is a Kasumi non-stack jig. This is one of my favorites, mainly because of that head design. Until I fished it for several years and I realized that the hook, the weed guard, the skirt, everything is top notch. Uh, just an all around great jig, guys. The OSP Three Hunts. This is a traditional round head jig, uh, round ball head jig. Um, it has the traditional weed guard as well. This is a, uh, what I like to call a hybrid between a uh, round head and a football head. As you can see that bulbous head on it. Uh, bigger, it's a little bigger jig. These excel for uh, large mouth as well. Of course, all of these jigs can catch all three. Large mouth spots, small mouth. These have a bigger profile where you might want to, uh, you know, employ these when the water's a little more dirtier or uh, if you're chasing, you know, largemouth. Um, just an awesome jig, awesome head design. Uh, the skirts are nice. They have, you know, the colors are, are endless. Great hook. I believe they use uh, either uh, Gamakatsu or owners, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but they have great hooks. They're sharp right out of the package. All these jigs are, are phenomenal right out of the package, as is most baits nowadays. Every, you know, all the manufacturers are are making excellent jigs, excellent baits, rega you know, um, regardless of what they are, crank baits, spinner baits. But uh, the OSP Three Hunts is an awesome, if you're looking for a ball head jig, uh, that you can fish around not only rock but wood and grass this is a great choice right here guys just a great choice from OSP three hunts again 3.5 up to about seven grams you're looking at I believe an eighth up to a quarter in that ballpark which uh, in the colder usually clearer water months uh, you want to uh, you want to stay with them lighter jigs slower fall which can be you know, manipulated by your trailer choice, which uh, you're gonna see some here that are familiar, and I'm gonna go over trailers uh, in a, a up, upcoming thing, uh, upcoming video. I'll show not only uh, the trailers I like, but a lot of them are unique, but uh, I'm gonna get some underwater footage and uh, so you can see what they look like in uh, real time. This incubator uh, equipped motion jig is uh, an awesome jig as well. It has the traditional ball head uh, football head design the the hybrid design it has a weed guard i love this jig uh because of the skirt material there's something about that fine rubber skirting in winter time of you know 
year round, but year, uh, winter time, it just seems to excel. When that jig hits bottom and that skirt flares out and breathes, it, it's a type of jig that can get picked up while dead sticking. You know, you can dead stick this jig with the right trailer and just maybe tap it every 10, 15 seconds. And I've had them come up and just pick it up off the bottom. Uh, awesome jig, awesome head design, awesome skirts. Again, very sharp hooks. Everything is top quality made. Incubator guys, quit motion. And you know, we can't have, uh, can't talk about micro jigs, finesse jigs without talking about Raid Japan. <laughs> and Raid uh, Japan is getting extremely difficult to find in America. No matter what bait they, uh, they make, it's getting very hard to find. Of course, you know, the major retailers are, are not, they don't really carry them. Uh, there's a couple, but uh, mostly you're gonna have to look online or, or eBay. But there, uh, this little jig right here, uh, I was skeptical at first. Uh, the head design is very unique, as you can see. Kind of like a little peanut head on it. Um, I thought maybe I would get hung up a lot. And of course, you're going to get hung up regardless of what jig you, you use. But there's a reason why some heads are designed and they do uh, cut that down tremendously. I caught a lot of fish on this jig, though. This is an awesome little jig. It's got a uh, traditional weed guard. It's got a, uh, as you can see, the on some of these jigs, they'll have a vertical line tie and some will have a horizontal. This one's got the horizontal. OSP's got the vertical. Different designs. You can't beat, uh, this is a, a, another top quality jig while it's resting on the bottom when you're dead sticking. It's just got an awesome profile. It gets bit uh, without imparting action. That's what you're looking for in a lot of your jig selections in the winter time because of course you have to slow down tremendously and baits need to become more lifelike. So you, you want a bait that uh, has the appeal uh, for bass to just pick it up off the bottom because it looks alive. Another one is what I, it's the Jackal Vector Jig and this is a tungsten jig. Uh, this is what I'd like to call my Ned jig. When you're fishing behind a lot of other anglers or highly pressured waters, they're throwing traditional Ned rigs, worms, creatures on just uh, you know jig head without a skirt. You can come behind them on a jig like this and, and catch extra fish. Uh, it doesn't have a traditional weed guard. It's got wire weed guard. Uh, it's got a vertical line tie. It's got the little they're coming out with these heads on these on these baits now where they're you know in between a, a football and a, a, a traditional ball head which is a great design these are a lot lighter than the other jigs i've just showed you um i tell you it's it's amazing how jig this size it's 364 with the right trailer that uh, you catch fish all day it's, it's 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 you just have to adapt your equipment rod reel line etc to accommodate baits like these but once you get dialed in on a bait like this you can mop them up it's another jig that looks good just dead sticking on the bottom uh very sharp hooks i mean we're talking you know these are high quality uh baits from high quality manufacturers i mean osp jackal you know even kasumi design ray japan they all make extremely well-built baits whether it be jigs crankbaits spinner baits it, it doesn't matter all their all their baits are top notch uh, and the reason why you know uh, myself and a lot of my buddies we go to jdm uh, baits is because uh, so many people fish the traditional baits that are found here in america which are fine they're great baits uh, there's a lot of great baits a lot of great companies but when you have tons and tons of anglers fishing the same bait you come behind them uh, with a, uh, a JDM bait that the fish hasn't seen, especially when you add in uh, soft plastic trailers that are unique, uh, you, can, you can score extra bites. It's happened time and time again. That's the allure of JDM baits, the high quality. And over here in the States, uh, these fish just haven't seen a lot of them. And it's, it's, uh, it's good to stay above the curve on a lot of these baits. And you can actually go back uh, several years and find baits that were made that are just, uh, just they're awesome. 
and start using them and catching fish. Uh, you know, they, they all have a place, um, but all of these, uh, these uh, few models here, I have caught fish on them. I have confidence in them. Um, they're all proven on the water. And a lot of these baits, um, I will have some upcoming uh, underwater footage show you guys what they each look like underwater. And what I choose as far as tackle uh, to employ these baits and become successful without uh, bending out these, these tiny hooks that come with these baits, that are known with these baits. You'd be surprised how strong these hooks are though on, on these uh, micro slash finesse baits. They are extremely strong and they hold up to big fish. You just gotta accommodate with your drag and your rod and line. But uh, I can't thank you enough, guys, for all the likes and uh, everything that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going from Instagram to uh, YouTube. I'm going to start uh, showing a lot of the baits that I used on Instagram. I get a lot of messages about them. I'm going to go ahead and start getting some videos done of them, showing what they look like up close, going over the design, what I think about them, uh, how they perform, and uh, just give my two cents. I hope it helps you guys, uh, you know, become better anglers. I can't thank you enough. I hope you have a great weekend, guys. God bless and tight lines.